Alright, so I'm gonna play this video. I'm gonna play this podcast, man. I'm gonna just play it. Listen to y'all. Listen to y'all with it. But I listen. I listened a little bit already. But but one thing I will say about me is um. I don't know why, but <clears throat> well, I know why it is, but I don't know. But I, so I kind of do know. But yeah, I just I was I didn't it was exposed to a lot of stuff at a very young age. So in saying that, a lot of stuff I be hearing nowadays is like I'm just realizing. Or like I'm like when I think about it, I'm like that is that is kind of nasty. <laughs> but yeah, like I'm just I'm just I'm just kind of thinking about it that like that because it's like I'm hearing like certain guys, a lot of guys, but don't like certain stuff or just see it like oh, um, <clears throat> don't look at a woman as wife and stereo because. Or if, like, she does, she wants to do some freaky shit, so the chick just on the freaky shit with him. But the thing with me is, I didn't know, I, I knew it, it was freaky, but I just, I, just didn't, I just didn't see it, like, mm, just normal. So anyway, let's go. <laughs> Real talk, though. Oh, yeah, but also, I think, I think why, you know what I'm saying? I think I give off the vibe of being a one woman, woman, one woman man, beyond like all the sexual innuendos, you know. Even though, you know what I'm saying, but I, I think I, I, I think I really do give off the vibe, like I'm a woman, <laughs> just the vibe. Like you know, I told you in the other video, I was saying like you gotta give off like a sexual aura. I give off a sexual aura, but I'm like I, I think I give off the vibe of one woman man. I think I do. This is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast, The Bad Boy's <laughs> Secret. And this is yet another video, or podcast rather, brought to you by the generous donation of a supporter. And of, and of course, if you... Anyway, right, The Bad Boy's Secret, right? And you know, that that's one, of the, that's one of those things they be having a conference on. I think I've done a few videos talking about like the sex appeal aspect and something. But it's a it's a bigger aspect to it, right? You know, it's a bigger it's a bigger aspect to it, right? Because the sex appeal thing is obvious, and you know, people always say, "Well, they're hot and all of that," but you know, you got regular dudes who are hot, right? To women, right? You got ma- and as I said, you get some masters of the universe types. They they get theirs like crazy. But you know what it is? Understand the society we live in. Understand the society we live in. You basically have two worlds. And this is something I've talked about constantly. You got the surface world, the social world, and then you got the sexual world, which is the underworld. Uh Now, according to social norms, right, a woman is supposed to, you know, she's supposed to get up, look for a husband, not supposed to have sex outside of marriage or limited sex. You know, once she get that husband, you know, she ain't supposed to rock his world or anything. You know, she, you know. That's why a chick might appear to be upset with you. Because <laughs> she's used to do, you know what I'm saying, like, oh, you're so beautiful, you know, um, just, anyway. Oh, get that husband, be happy that he's, like, providing for and protecting her. And all of that stuff, you know, obey and all of that. You know, that social world is created by religion. That social world is created by social mores that develop. And that- they ain't gonna block a dude like that. <laughs> they like attention. Man. Everything, right? And most, well, women in general, most women, they adhere to those social norms. But all women got that inner freak. Mm. All women want to go crazy. Right. Well, women, you know, that's when we run into women's uh, sexual nature. Now, see, a lot of people, a lot of men, they think it's something wrong with the women, something pathological when they do this stuff. It's like, no, you're just seeing it from one perspective. That sexual nature is natural. Remember, a woman's nature, a woman's primary nature is to mate with the 
best genetic material that she can uh, attract to herself. And that's it. That's it. That's nature, right? <clears throat> but when you, I might have fucked this up with the girl, girl, but that was for a different reason, though. You get the social norms, right? The social norms don't necessarily allow for that, or the social norms try to say that that guy making six figures. And is the CEO of something that happens to have a degree from some overpriced university. That's supposed to be the best, but that's a social thing. What they got to do with nature? Because the thing with the social norms, they could change. We have a major disaster or something, the government falls, the social norms might be different. Right? You know, we might get a situation, it's just like, and I've said this in another podcast, where it's about whoever got the bigger gun. You know, laws can change. Remember, probably a hundred, roughly, nearly, what, 90 years ago, 80 years ago, something like that? Drinking alcohol was illegal. 20 years ago, people couldn't be, there weren't no, there weren't any states where somebody could smoke marijuana legally. Shoot, as soon as recently as 10 years ago. True. And you got states, shoot, they can be out in public and everything, right? So that's a social thing. Laws are social things, but they can change. You know, you might have a situation where, and I expect this to happen, prostitution is legalized, right? So that's a that's another social change. All of a sudden, somebody can be on the cover of Inc. It's like, yeah, this is, yeah, how they built up their uh, prostitution business. You know, got some man or woman on there, you know, just smiling and stuff. Just smiling and stuff. You, you know, in another social situation, they, they might have, you know, they might have either been broke or, you know, <coughs> they're for a totally different business. But that's a social thing. So that changes. That changes with laws, um, changes with changes in religion. You know, if you get uh, the Pope decide, hey, you know, this is okay to do, they do it. Or churches, they have one of their conventions say, hey, you know what, we down for this. Like gay marriage is another thing. Most churches were against it. Probably still, some still are. But then others say, hey, you know, they all God's children. That's a social thing, right? And women adhere to that, but it changes. But the thing that don't change is that sexual thing. And it hasn't changed. That's why I kind of laugh when people try to act like the game has changed in, um, like, like in the last few years. I say, no, some social things have changed. But the game is still the game is still the game. The game is still the game because women still want sex. The only difference between now and then, women hot hit shit better. There were a lot, and um, I need to ask yeah, somebody because I got uh, people who do research for Serious? me. Serious? Like, believe it or not, I just don't talk off the top of my head. Like if I. Hey.